Hey, hi, CBC Music. Elisa Pivonga, I'm Elisa P, and these are the five songs that changed my life. Try by Blue Rodeo. When I think about it, I think first of all of the first time I saw it, it was on TV. It was just so amazing that I just kind of wanted to just go inside the TV and go be in that world with these guys. As an Inuk girl, a young teenager, I just felt like I was being invited to go fall in love and I was being told it's okay to dream away. Um, of course, Jim, I wanted to marry him. Uh, and then I met him later on and I sang with him. So I, I have a very strong connection to Blue Rodeo. And I also played this song a lot on my uh, radio show in the North. I think it's just the perfect song. Where Are You Tonight by Cowboy Junkies. It's really much about Margot Timmons' voice. It's like she was speaking to me, and that's when I felt like with this song, I found my voice. I found where I can be in this quiet space and listen to my voice and, and sing softly and take my time. This album, uh, Caution Horses, is, is, I still have it. It's very old now, it's very worn out, but it's really, I would probably take it to an island if I had to, if I was told to bring one album, it would probably be this album. Because it talks about a feeling of being in an isolated place and, 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 and searching. Where are you tonight? It's a beautiful. You guys have to listen to this song, please. My chances on a big jet plane, never let them tell you that we're all Going to California, California Mood, we say, uh, by Led Zeppelin. I listened to that song a lot as a teenager. I felt like they were almost like talking about me, I, I, as if I wanted to become this mysterious um, woman, girl, traveling, and, and people are trying to tra trace me. There's something really magical about that, and it's. I find that it's also highlighting the woman, you know, how we are constantly trying to understand her, how we want to follow her, how she's a natural spiritual leader, maybe. So that's how I, I saw the song and I'm really excited also because I finally uh, had the courage to do something very special is to translate it to Inuktitut in my language. So I sing the song now and I feel a strong, almost like a strong spiritual connection, psychedelic connection. Nina Simone, oh my God, this song, Love Me or Leave Me, I love it because it's playful. When I listen to it, I've always felt like it was reminding me to go find my playful side my light side, my colorful side. You know, life is hectic. Of course, Nina Simone's songs, the heavier songs, deeper songs are go straight to my heart. But this one, I think, is really highlighting her strength, of course, in her voice, but also her piano. She's an amazing pianist. She was an amazing pianist, so this is her earlier days, too. So there's something really wonderful in this song. You all need this song in your life, so enjoy. Mysteries of love, where war is no more. Oh. Mysteries by Beth Gibbons. I don't, I don't even know how to describe this song. The sounds that come out from this song, the arrangements that are very mysterious, that are haunting. I just want to stay in that world. If I could, I would probably stay in that vibe because life is connection connections and, and life is sounds life is mysterious she is able to deliver that emotion and that mystery um, with her voice uh, so this song has a lot of uh, connections also to when i was mourning when i was grieving my mother who passed away and my father so it's a uh, time in my life where I really need to feel surrounded and be told that it's okay, that life is also death and it's okay. I think it's a beautiful homage to 
I don't want to say death, but you know, grieving is part of life too. It's dark but beautiful.